Oh my god, I'm anyway. so hungry. Anyway, it was. Oh, oh yes, sucking hit nose in. guys welcome back to another episode uh, we're still up here in Cape York far north Queensland Australia and um, Dan and I well Dan had a rough night's sleep with mosquitoes I slept like a baby because I hardly slept like the night before but we're woken up to this ripper day we just sent the drone up had some brekkie um, we have to go down and check the crab pots you saw us throw them in on the last episode and um, then we're gonna go explore the Mussy Creek which is a river system just north of here somewhere I explored last year um, and it was it just blew my mind and I only just touched the surface so I'm really keen to get back in and, and walk right down the river and chase some barra chase some jungle perch Dan well, hasn't been in there yet I haven't been in there and the thing is like this is so arid yeah. here and then you're, you're telling me that it's going to be like a rainforest yeah. jungle so it's it be, it'd be really interesting to see the diversity of it all it's kind of like here as in it's really arid and then it just automatic like just really quickly just drops into this rainforest and it's pure fresh water that runs all year round and um it's just like you're in this little oasis it's really cool it's gonna be good for a tub yeah get in and have a wash have a good wash catch some fish well, we're not going to take any food um so we've got to catch lunch and this is what's going in the backpack just some basics i obviously carry a big knife on me all time all the time um braid scissors fork because we're gonna catch a barra dan's got some salt and pepper um, zinc, that's the zinc I wear, sunnies obviously. Mosquitoes are going to be thick so we've got two shirts on which is pretty hard up here in the tropics. Um, I've got a buff here, don't normally wear them but what do you, whatever you got to do to keep the mozzies off. Satellite phone, um, my phone for HEMA maps so we can see where we are at all times. Head torch in case we get stuck in there. The drone, um, more GoPro gear, bandages for snake bites. So the dangers in here are crocodiles and snakes same as everywhere we go um, you got to be prepared for, for both and just be careful anything else you want to say big fella taipan <laughs> <laughs> Ty <I'm worried. laughs> yeah there's taipans in there right. uh, water we're going to drink the water in the creek dan's got the little catadan beef free is it catadan beef free yeah well it's, like, a, it's a good bottle in the wenlock anyway yeah so that's it there yeah it's an absolute cracker yeah so quick and easy well, yeah. the thing is, when you're when you're walking through like this, you can't carry like five liters of water on you. Yeah. Like the weight's too much. So, yeah. but um, I think whilst you can drink the creek water up there, but I mean, if you want to be real safe, yeah. filter it through that. Yeah. Done. Easy. Wild Earth. Yeah. Yeah. All our gear's from Wild Earth, and it's all quality gear. The problem for me is taking one fishing rod. When you're hiking, um, you want one rod, but to start with, there's these, there's jungle perch, and you want these tiny little poppers and stuff, and the bait caster. I don't know, I haven't used this rod in there yet, so it'll be interesting, but I think that's a 10 to 17 pound. But um, yeah, it, ideally you want two rods, like a light little spin rod for the JP, and then, but there's some big barramundi in there too, so you've got to be prepared, be ready for both. But anyway, we're going to get wriggle on, we got to, the tide's coming in, and we need to cross this river to walk down to get the pots. Dan's not too keen on crossing the river and walking by the sound of it. Um, Ah, uh, the tide's come in. All right, we've got to come up with a plan to get the uh, get check the crab pots before we go. So the boat's high and dry, we might have to push it down. <laughs> I 
way down to the creek, or up to the creek. A bit of a drive ahead of us, and we're just taking one ute today. Um, hopefully there's no serious stuff, but yeah, we just want to jump in the ute together. One of us will fly the drone a bit later, and the other one drives. Alright, we're on. We've just arrived up at Massey Creek. Um, changed all our gear over. I'm running a little, I'm running 20 pound and a, um, this is a little Bass Day backfire popper. And this first stretch is quite shallow and hopefully there's jungle perch. How magical is this place? This is what I mean about an oasis, just having shade. You can feel it, how you walk in, it's like five degrees cooler. Oh, it's beautiful in here, mate, eh? This is like, this is like reliving the Wenlock all over again. Yeah. It's so nice. And we're both in, in jeans and long sleeve shirts because the mosquitoes and that are sick, but. I like this, this is a little sugar pen. Yeah. I reckon that's gonna go good. That is nice, a little yeah. surface cooler. All right. Ready, oh, you got your popper on? Yep. Yeah, I put the popper on. Yep. Wow. Blouses, blouses, blouses. Like when, for them back years and years ago, this would have been such a life yeah. source for them to have fresh water near the saltwater ocean. Yeah, it's kind of hard for you guys to understand that, but for like when you're here, it's so dry and arid and salty and mangroves and salt flats and and then you come across this. This is pure fresh water and it runs all year round. I've been here late in the year. At the end of the dry season, it's still flowing. Well, even the drone footage of the car going through, that's what it's like, isn't it? Yeah. And then you can't come into something like this and it's like a full jungle. Yeah. Yeah, and it gets denser down in here. Let's do it. Let's go. We're going Let's downstream. Go Again, big crocs, so we've got to keep an eye out, mate. Have each other's back. Don't do anything stupid. Oh, I'd never do anything stupid. Just found all these fresh pig tracks everywhere. Big wallow, or little wallow. Wallows everywhere. So they've been in here rooting it all up and um, just staying cool. But if Dan and I walk really stealth like through here, I'm sure we'll come across something. Last time I was here, I don't even know if you've, I haven't even released the episodes of that of Massey Creek yet. And I'm back here filming new stuff, but, um, I came across a big boar last time I was here, just walking through here by myself. Heaps of big scrub bulls, uh, really cool. And there's more water, so all this stuff is actually quite deep now. It's actually fishable, but I think we're going to push down a bit further and um, start fishing down further. I reckon if we go pretty quietly, yeah, we might not come across the pigs. Mm. Army. That's it, isn't it? Wow. It's like being in Jurassic Park. Yeah. I reckon the, pa the palm cockatoos seem to follow Dan and I. Like when we get to these magical spots, it's always there always seems to be one flying over. <laughs> it's so cool. We've just got to a really good stretch of the river here. Look how dark and deep it is through here. Heaps of timber. Dan's just started up the top of it here. And I'm going to start flicking into here. Um, and then I'm pretty sure I can see these big trees falling over the river at the top here. I think that's a barra hole where I was catching them last time. So I'm really pumped to get up to there. Change over to 40 pound. Put some bigger lures on. Chase a barra. Oh! 
Loot. Is it a JP? Yeah. Loot, Tony. Oh, mate, little sugar pen. Yeah, look at that. Did the look job. That. Look, he's had a little bit of a mark up on top. JP on the surface. Like a little miniature barra, eh? Yeah, they Beautiful, hit hard. Eh? Oh, hit hard. little fish like that, mate. Yeah. He hit good. Yeah. He hit real hard, eh? Look at, that. Look at the flag tail on that. They're amazing. Beautiful. Can you oh, get back in the water? Yeah, yeah, put him back. There's a lot of fishermen out there. They'd be pretty jealous right now. Jungle perch in a wild system like this. This water comes down from the McElwraith Ranges and it's truly wild. And these little fellas, half, I mean, probably hardly seen lures. No. Let alone a tasty little sugar pen like that. There you go. Here we go. <sighs> He's been hit by something on the top, eh? Was he? Did he have yeah. a, something got, missing? Got a bit of a mark going on. Probably had a dust up with a big barra. Yeah. <laughs> What a shot. Three pointer straight into the bloody tree. So I'm gonna have to have a bit of a look here and climb up this bloody thing. I'm not losing that little sugar pen, but at the same time. Oh, balance is a bit off with the big back one. Right. We're up the top here. Where is this thing? Oh man, that is wedged. That is so wedged in there, eh? I have to be careful that I don't. Oh, there's spider webs. Oh. Oh man, okay. It's not easy. Well, as I can see it, I do not want to lose that. Hang on, do that for me. What? Anyway, yowzers. Where did that come from? Anyway, pretty stoked to get that back. It's a little sugar pen that's been doing good in here. Nice up there a bit further. Having a crack in a hole. He's on. He's on. You on? Nice. There you go, guys. Tiny little JP on a bass day. Uh, backfire, I think they're called. Look at that little cutie. I can see a croc slide on the bottom. That's not good. No. It's only small. But they're in here. I reckon they'd be a big fella. Oh, it looks so good up in there. Look at that. All that undercut. But there's only so much wading through a creek like this that you can do safely. And the other thing is, like when we're in the Wenlock, you had the tinny to have the yeah. side, just so you always had that barrier. Yeah. Or you could just dive into the tinny if yeah. one come at you. But here, you always need a bit of a game plan and like an, an exit strategy. But I'm, there's another little cock slide on the bottom. Yeah, I'm satisfied now. Like, I love catching JP, it's really cool, but I want to chase Barra. And now we've caught a JP each. Yeah. It's right. like, all right, let's chase Barra. So maybe a few more casts through this shallow stuff then I'm going to switch over, put 40 pound on, change to some deeper diving lures and just look for big holes. How good does this look? Oh yeah, good. Yeah, just kind of snatched and it'll hurt you. Hey, Lauren. I reckon Dan's found his calling. He's a JT, a JP fisherman from way back. Mate, they love that little sugar pen. The sugar pen smashes it, eh? Mate, he's a bit better size, eh? Yeah, he's beautiful. Yeah. What a ripper. Come out, whacked it hard. <laughs> and I was actually just coming here freaking out about crocs, I'm just going. Yeah. Like you said, if something comes over that embankment. Yeah, we don't know what's over there. I did I did go up and have a little bit of a look on the other side to think if there's any water on that other side, but it's dry. So, yeah. but um, yeah. Good job. And this, and this is what they're living in, eh? Just yeah. a bit of structure. A lot of good structure there, eh? A lot yeah. of pool and logs and everything. Yeah. I mean, I've caught like, what, three now? I'm pretty professional at this. <laughs> We've walked down a fair way now, and um, oh, here they are here. Yeah, are they catfish? Uh, or 
No, they do look like mullet, eh? Yeah, I think they look like mullet. They're mullet. Tell you what, I didn't know they were in the freshwater. Yes, we've walked down a fair way now. Um, caught a few JPs. I've just changed over for Barra. And I'm getting bloody hungry. Dan doesn't get as hungry as me. He could go all day with no food, but I get hungry and hangry. So we've come to a fork in the river here. And I'm pretty sure it joins back up, not far down. I think we'll just take the easy option and go right. Oh yeah. Have a nice stroll and hopefully find a deep hole at the other end. Take it all in. There's a lot to break in. Yeah, sure it is. It's looking pretty nasty in there. Yeah. That's where big black boy. That's where I'll make the was, eh? like Swamp that. dog, yeah. 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 That's what they lie. Oh Bob the swamp dog. If there's a big salty in here, it's probably good even over the back there. Especially in that oh, that looks in, terrible. In that stagnant still water it'd be yeah. so warm for a mate. Yeah. Yeah, it would be. Compared to out here in the fast flowing fresh water. This is what you got to be careful of. Oh, I'll see God. it through there. Let's have a bit of a sticky beak in here. Just got to be careful. No. Look. Very much so, man. Yeah. Stay here, at can't see anything in there but I'm sure you guys can understand what we're talking about that water's slow shallow and uh, and warm and that's what reptiles want we're trying our hardest to find you guys a big selfie I know you're all asking where's all the crocodiles Dan and I as we've said before we both have families at home. As much fun as this is, we need to get home to our families. So we're not out looking for big salties and jumping on them to be a YouTube sensation. I'm just wondering whether you should though. Yeah, you think I should? Yeah, I reckon maybe you should now. Look here guys, here's some fresh croc slides, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, yeah you get tarp on in here, I'd say they're not that fresh, unless it's just one croc living in here and he's out in here at the moment, because um, that looks way too shallow. Maybe it's an old, they're old slides and it's an old hole. Perfect spot for them though. He's not a big one, nothing for us to worry about there. One 
Pepe. All right, so. What? Mate, right, that looks like an... That looks like an Eclectus Parrot. Eclectus Parrot are like... Rare. Rare as... I yeah. thought they were only in iron range. Oh, I don't know if you guys would have seen that because the camera is down. But that looked like an Eclectus Parrot which I only found, I thought, in Iron Range National Park. And that's the beauty of this place. The McElwraith Ranges are just an untouched, prehistoric rainforest. And this, this system that we're fishing now runs out of them. And it's just loaded with, with animals like that, like birds like the Eucalyptus parrot. <sighs> Amazing. Wow. Wow. That thing just works so well. That's not the one I want to do. No. There's a bigger JP in there. Hang on, something on the lens. There's a bigger jungle perch in here. And um, we just spotted it. Dan's thrown two casts in. One had a follow. Next one got a fish. That little sugar pen is just amazing. But we can't eat a little jungle perch. So, we've got to push on through here. Hear that? Oh, there, there he is. Big scrub bull. Big scrub bull. Holy hell. He's massive. Yeah. See him through there? You probably can't on the GoPro. Well, there's a couple in there, I think. I can't see his head. There he goes. Watch this. Hopefully you'll see him. Nah. There he is. Yeah, yeah, there he is. Oh, he's going. Sorry, guys. You probably won't see that. But... Um, yeah, this section here looks nasty because something could be tucked up underneath the, um, these trees here on the side. You never know. Yeah, that's him again. Feral pigs in here. They haven't spotted us yet. Little suckers. See him in there. There's a whole mob of them. <laughs> this little sucker. Oink, oink. <laughs> Look at the damage they do. Look at this. This whole area, like 50 meters by probably 100 meters, whatever, is rooted up. Oh, jeez, look at it here. They just make such a mess. How's that? It's a full mob in there, eh? Yeah, tell you what, 
I should have dropped the camera and pork rib. Oh, stuck one. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm bloody hungry. That little that little fella trying yeah. to find would have been easy prey. Eh? <laughs> yeah, fully. <laughs> Oh, that's what I say, you don't want to be the, don't need to be the quickest, you just don't want to be the slowest, eh? <laughs> uh, what was that? I don't know. Is that just us? No, I think that's just movement. Yeah. Going around that way. It's tucking here anyway. Big Yeah. I'm on the back side of that one right down. I reckon we're about two hours in, maybe, maybe more. And we got to hike back too. My assistant cameraman here has lost batteries for GoPros. So he's starting to lose it. Been losing a lot of, a lot of stuff on this trip, eh? Hey? Yeah. No. Hey. That's the problem what, with his kick-ass backpack. He's got too many pockets. Why wouldn't you look in the pocket that you put the batteries in? I've looked in every other pocket gun. They must be in it, because that's that's how I roll. I'll put it in a different pocket every time. <laughs> yeah. oh, I'll try not to, but... Why didn't you just look where you put it last? Oh. I don't need my wife here, mate. Thanks very much. <laughs> oh. oh my God, I'm anyway. so hungry. Anyway, it was... I'll swap it over. Uh. Now, the thing is, you need, you need another pocket to so say you know. Yeah, that's what I'm finding. Which? I've got a day pack. I've got the Osprey 26 litre hike light, I think it is. Awesome pack. I really like it. It's really lightweight and it's got like a, I'll show you later, like a, um, a void between. So it's got this mesh and then a void and then your back so you don't sweat. Really cool. But it's only got two pockets. Maybe another one on the front, down the bottom, it's not zip, zip it up on you. Dan's got the ultimate. Dan's got well, the Camelback, what, yeah. 36 litre or something? Or bigger? It's a big one anyway. Yeah, it's like 30, 38, because you've got three litres of water you can put into it. Yeah. So many pockets. But the only thing I find with this so is if you're... Storage. Okay. So much storage. Yeah, but, mate, you, I don't have the airflow. Well, yeah. there is these pads here, yeah. but you, you sweat yeah. on your back, eh, with carrying this thing. So I don't know whether I can maybe make something up. Yeah, this Osprey, they're, they're all over it with that sweat zoid thing. It's yeah. working really well. <sighs> yeah, it looks like a nice pack, eh? I just love having pockets and compartments, and that's yours has oh, got that. there's like, yeah. Oh, you say almost too many. Like, it's almost like a play. A too, many, too many it's, options. Where? It's a game of hide and go seek. Every time you go and do it, it's like, what the f where is that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I give up. Come out. <laughs> Come out on your own. <laughs> Deliriously hungry, I think. Deliriously? I think, is that a thing? Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure little JP just boofed something off the surface there. Well, he probably doesn't want to be boofing too much because he's going to get eaten if he keeps doing that. Yeah, I'm starting to consider it. I don't even know what the time would be. I, I, I'd be banking yeah, on maybe two-ish. That's what I think, one thirty, two o'clock. Yeah, it feels like it's gone past that midday. So. so, we're not catching lunch back there because we haven't passed anything lunchable yet, so we need to keep going this way. And then as, I reckon as soon as we catch lunch. I reckon if we keep going this way, we'll be back at camp. <laughs> Get to the coast, walk back along the beach. Yeah. The yeah. thing is, um, the coastline, like where we work, can deliver quite easily. Yeah. Like you can that's catch true. quite easy. Yeah. But last time I was in here, I would have caught, yeah, that's true. honestly, 20 barra by now. Yeah. Maybe Just not today, 20, yeah. maybe 10, 15. All right. Yeah, like I said, the water's lower and um, it's just not producing like it did last time. No, it's been there a while. There's a bit of a dirty hole out the back here, I think. Looks a bit sketchy. Oh, here you go. Here's the crock hole, right here. So, you get to a spot like this, I always look for crock slides, because they're always going to be coming in and out. I've got a hole here. 
miss these polarized kick ass sunnies. I can see straight in there. It's safe. No, I think it's all right. And this hole, I can't see any slides. So I'm going for it. Yeah, you're good, mate. <laughs> Oh, how's this for a spot? I just want to stop here, swim in the water and have lunch. Honestly guys, how beautiful is this place? I'll have to show you on a map where we are, just to put it into perspective, because it's truly wild. I keep saying it, but this is looking better up here. How nice is that now? Yeah. This is the Wenlock. Yeah. I found our lunch spot. We've got to have lunch here. Oh, yeah, this is where we, we need to get from here. Alright. Alright, lunch time. Lily pads. I think it's deep. Oh, there's a barra! 50 centimeter or 60 centimeter barra just cruised through here, through the shallows. Really? It's barra! We've found the barra. Now we just gotta catch one. It's not as deep as I thought. Come on, baby. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy that it comes through here, eh? Yep. Yeah, he's on. It's a little barrel. Where is it? That's a JP. That's a big, that's a decent JP. Woo! Mate, that's good size. That's nice work. Pepper. That's a pearler, man. Do you think he could, um,. Shake. Yeah, they got a spiky little bugger. There you go. JP. JP. You. Nice work, mate. That's a good size. That's a ripper. Not quite as big as the one I got, I but. Here's croc. There's croc slides here, mate. Yeah, just here. See the croc slides, guys? Just there. So, I mean, this looks like it because in here it's like lilies and it looks like a bit of a low lying wetland. So this is what I was saying, just always be aware of your surroundings. Then you know where they, well you don't know where they are, but it gives you an idea of where they are. But I think what else is in there is lunch. So I just need to find a safe spot to get in there. I reckon if you go much further in there, you're gonna be lunch. Oh, you say there's slides on that embankment, be so bloody careful in there. I might just stand. Barra. Yeah, I'll, I'll stand here and watch. Because. I can see a barra there. Really? Just with his nose out. Oh. 60 centimetres easy. Really? But there's a lily right in the way. Do you think that's more the sugar pen? Could be, mate. <laughs> no, nah, go for it. Have a crack. A weedless plastic would be good. Yeah, true. He's right there. I can't. I don't have any weedless hooks. Actually now I can't resist, I'm, I'm coming over. Coming in. Oh, look at that. Is it in? Going through the gap. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. Yeah. 
be back. But now he might be inquisitive. Where's he? Might, he? he might have been. There's another one right there. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that, that's a sizey. I was just about to say, I reckon that's just that one fish that came in. And then there's no, another one. That's sizey. Mate, that's going to be the best if he comes out and boosts that. Yeah. Away, JP. Mate, I reckon if he if he's gonna come out, he's gonna come blasting out of it. So this little bar, oh, he's not little. I reckon I reckon that's a good six hundred. Good six hundred. Right in under that stuff, though, yeah, it? it's almost like you need to. If if you could get that there and bring it along in front of him, yeah, right against the undercut there. I'll tell you what, if you get him on, you're gonna have to be quick, eh? Because he'll turn and get <laughs> Jesus, get back in there. Oh. He's still there. He's still there. Here we go. Mate. We're going to get him. I thought I'd ruined that because oh. of the reeve. Get that cast in there. Yes. You're on. You're going to get blasted. Yep. Yep. Oh. oh. Mm. No, no, no. Mate, he's... Oh, I should have no. gone, gone in for a second cast. That hurts. I don't want to get it. He's, he's your fish. I don't that want to get him. Hurts. This is this is nice ultimate here. This is your this is your A game right here, son. This is fishing. Watch this. It's, this is gonna at its finest. Got him. Got him. Got him. You've got him. And this. Oh, 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 oh baby. Oh my God, Dan. Hey. This is why we do it. Honestly. Mate. No way. Oh my God. There you go. Mate. There you go. Hey. <laughs> Look at him. Oh. What, three hour walk to here? Yep. In the middle of bloody East Coast Cape York. Starving hungry. <sighs> That's worth a photo, eh? Bloody hell. People wonder why we do this, like what this is all about. To me, this is it. In a nutshell. Like. Fish like that. I'm so stoked for you. Like it's it's your ultimate game right here, eh? This is this is your you're in your element doing you, this. You literally just asked me before, it, like what's my favourite yeah. of fishing, and this is it. Yep. And that, look, there's another it. one. There's another one right there. Can we can we make it two from two? I don't well, know. This guy's got to be lunch. Yeah. He, well, I mean, he's big. Yeah, he's decent, eh? That's okay. Can I just have a little cast? Just watch that lure. Look at this. Okay. I hope you guys just saw that action. I hope you picked it up because I missed him two or three times and he still came out and whacked it because we're in the middle of nowhere and no one fishes here and he doesn't know what's going on. Look at the size of him. I know he's not huge, but he is for me right now. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's going under. You're right, you're right. Keep pushing. Okay. I'll go in and get him. 
Is there, is, uh, oh man. <sighs> How's the cheek of him swapping it out for a stick? Anyway, that, that, the excitement. There you go, that's all Dan got of him. A bit of, that's good enough. A bit of lip. Where, where's, he, where's he going? Because I didn't even see him. I reckon he'll come back for another crack at that. He's in there. This is like, oh mate. This is it. Holy Yes, 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 oh, how did he miss those hooks? Honestly guys, I might keep saying this, because I'm so excited, I can't even remember what, what I'm talking about, but watch this, we are in, oh my god, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh. Oh, oh! There goes your sugar pen! Oh! No! We might even catch him and get it back. Holy hell. I knew that was gonna... Oh man, I knew I was running the gun. I know, 20, 20 pound. Yeah. And after that just happened before. It's all... It's all frayed from being stuck on that snag. I reckon we'll, I reckon we'll get him... I can't believe this action, guys. This is, this is what I'm saying, we're in... We're so remote. And we just hiked, we we're already remote, and we just hiked three hours down and we just found this perfect crystal clear little inlet into the main system full of lilies and the barra can't see us and we can see them. They've never seen a lure and they're just, they're biting hard. I think that's just set in. Hey? I think that's just set in, like, that's like having shock first. Yeah. And now it's set in that I've just lost the sugar pen and oh, I've just mate. lost one of the best barra that I probably would have caught. Is that the only little sugar pen 58 you got? Because there's more in the box. Back at the car. I know that, but... <laughs> we can't even begin to explain. Like, Dan and I are just on such a high right now. Um, you know, you guys might watch this and think, oh, yeah, we do it all the time. But honestly, like, this is, this is like, we're, we're absolutely pumped. That was amazing, that session. Like, history books, seeing them feed on the surface like that. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to send the drone up and show you guys where we are. But first, we need coals. We didn't bring anything to cook this barra with, so um, we're just going to throw him straight on the on the coals. So yeah, we need coals. We might even wrap him up in. No, that's not a maluka. We might even wrap him up in paper bark off one of these malukas. So I'm going to look for a big maluka. Um, good to get the fire going too, hey. So um, we've got the flint, and we'll use the paper bark to get the fire going. And then we're going to cook it here on the this little island. Send the drone up, show you guys where we are, sit back and enjoy the spoils of being in the middle of bloody nowhere on the east coast of Cape York and just living off the land. Oh. Have a go at that. Big vine choking the Maluka. That's amazing. So this is what we need. A bit of this stuff. We might even wrap the barrier in it. But we'll just grab a little bit for now. To get the fire going. Yeah, Dan's saying the pigs have made a big big mess along here. Everywhere you go, everywhere you go up here, you see damage from the wild pigs. We've snapped our flint. You reckon in 40,000 years time they're going to pull this to uh, Nathan Dan's land trust? <laughs> Just this section, little bit. We don't want the whole thing. Oh, that's hard. It's going to be hard. Oh, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Oh, 
He's done it. That paper bark, isn't it gold? Just is like. That's what you mean. I mean, that's what I mean. It's like. It smells actually really good too. It's got a real different smell, eh? What else do you need out here? I mean, this is the only tool, like Western tool, that we have. I mean, you could still do the, the friction on yeah. here, but like paper bark, we got food. It's all here, isn't it? The smoke so it's from Aussies. <laughs> yeah, I know. But the thing is, that it's almost like we, you can live better. Well, it makes you appreciate it more, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. But like the thing is, people go to work to eat and do this sort of stuff. Like, I mean, we do too. I mean, we don't do this full time, but but you could, you could literally live in here. Yeah. And well, well his ancestors did for forty thousand years. Oh, no. Yeah, that's right. Eh? Just means you don't drive V eight cruiser utes and have canopies and. Yeah. Dual battery systems and all that, but you don't need it because you're already here. You don't yeah. have to get here. Yeah. They wouldn't need an yeah. inverter to charge the GoPros though. No, nah. yeah, true. It's really nice to be here because where we are, it's um, shallow. The whole thing's shallow right around. So, not that we're complacent, but I mean, it, you feel a bit safer. Yeah, this is what we want. We got food over there, we got warmth. We can have a swim. Like, I'm going to have a feed. Oh, man. I'm going to have a swim and cool yep. off, and then I'm going to get fishing again. You can keep your pants on while you're swimming too, mate. <laughs> I know, you're excited. <laughs> We're going to cook the bar a bit different today, eh? Hey? Should right? Should get, that's about as traditional as I reckon we can get. Yeah, Wrap it I in mean, paper. out of respect, I suppose, to, to Wally, having us in here on his land. Um, we're going to cook the bar in the traditional way and just wrap it up in, in the baked paper bark from the Malalukas and straight on the coals. Oh, oh look out, mate. Get out. You don't want to be in there.
crazy. Well, that'd, because that would probably smother the fire and stop it. And it would yeah. Hold out now. Vote if you want to think we should be wetting paper, but. <laughs> I oh, know, they're still going to cook it nice, eh? I reckon if it, if it does catch a light, it's going to get a smoky flavour yeah, to it. Yeah, I think it's been delicious. Mm. But Wally, you're probably having a laugh right now. We need you out here, mate. He would be, eh? He'd be like, oh, damn silly fellas. I might do another segment called Nath's Reflections. Damn things I get a bit soppy and a bit spiritual, but when you get to places like this and you're so far from everything and and everything in this system is enough to to like to oh, sorry. <laughs> there was something in the back there. oh it was going to <laughs> um to sustain life <clears throat> just in one system like this and to think this water here that, that we're sitting here watching while our fish cooks on the fire has been flowing like this for thousands and thousands of years out of the same mountain range all year long um, you know, and Wally and, and his family, the traditional custodians of this land, and their ancestors have been doing what Dan and I are sitting here right now doing for thousands of years. It's just, you, you just, Dan's flicking lures next to me. Check out, if come on, bored, mate, I'm trying to have a moment here. If you're bored by that, check out the sugar pudding. <laughs> <you're bored>. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> we'll give you a, we'll give you a, a um, product. Uh, advert right here. This is the Bastet sugar pen. Now, if you knew what you were doing with it, it'd probably have really good action. But Dan, on the other hand, up here. Hey, well, just let me have a look. I'll just load. Oh. <laughs> um, no, he's actually killing it with a little sugar pen today. But yeah, it just makes you really appreciate everything, like appreciate nature that we can be out here and be able to catch our own food like this and drink this water and let alone be on this land. Like, if you're watching Wally, thanks mate, like, this is amazing. And then all of you out there for watching, you know, you give sort of, you've given Dan and I the purpose to get, to get out here more often and, and, and do this, do what we love doing. Um, and all the sponsors for helping out too. So, uh, all right, that's it. We're going to finish our lunch and get back into that honey hole. We're going to go deeper into there. We only just touched the surface of that little spot. It's really glary, but it's right there. And when I sent the drone up, I went up over that area, which you guys have probably just seen. And um, there looked like some open country through here that we can walk around into. And then it looked like some deeper holes with the lily pads. So I reckon there's going to be some action. All right. All right, let's do it. Yeah, it is. It I reckon it's ready. Yeah. Oh, no. That's stick in too much. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh yeah, that's just case but I thought that was skin. I'm gonna be annoyed. Who had barra on the menu? Where's my fork? I'll bring it to the plate. Yes. Salt and pepper. That really looks like it's cooked good. That looks like it's cooked good, eh? Kill that. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is how we do it. Oh how my god. It. Let's tell them. Oh god, it's, it's about 3 pm. Yeah. We're starving <laughs> again. And we're about to eat like kings again. I normally have pretty good longevity for food, but. Oh, I just got scaled in the face. But yeah, I think because we've walked so far today, eh? Yeah. That's the that's yeah, a lot of the difference, mission. eh? Yeah, we've mission. expelled energy. Get all this. Thank God, thank God, big Bazzy Barra come out of that hole. I reckon it saved us right. the last second. I just want to, I just want to. He's jumping oh. the gun. I'm salting her up. What is it? Oh. Man. Yeah? Yeah. It's like, it's like every meal we have. <laughs> It is, eh? There are people who are going to go, I'm sick of that response. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> One day I'm just going to go, that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> One day. Yeah, yeah. I wonder what that'll be. I don't know what it's going to be. It might be uh, Wally's uh, mud shell. <laughs> True. No, but, man, that's so good. That's so good. 
Oh. Honestly, yeah. You cannot, like, the thing is with this barra too, like, it's the most freshest, cleanest water. Mm. It's filtered through sand. Mm. These guys are eating so good themselves. People say freshwater barra no good. Oh, man. Those people have got rocks in their head. They haven't been to the Wenlock or the Massey. Mm. Taste that barra. That is, like, so... And good. All right, we're hooking in. If you like what you're seeing, make sure you subscribe. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah, it's good. It hasn't hit the ground. Next week on Wild Reaches, Nath crashes another drone and the action continues. Just come back from that water, it's such a bit eh? Because I actually think it'd be more horrific for the person still alive. I agree. You're not worried about me, are you? You're worried no, about me. I'm worried about my how I'm gonna go. <laughs> Getting back. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> That's a nice little throw. That's the go. Oh, come on. Yep. Oh. 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 It's a swamp donkey.